I love Roscoe, honestly. Does he pass vibe check? He is a vibe check. Watch, watch, guys. Watch, watch. Ready? Okay. You wanna see him fall asleep? For sing down. For sing Alright, so what are we doing first? What did you do? Visitors! Hello! Foul! 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 Look at him already eating feathers. That's actually, chickens do this, so they'll eat each other's feathers. This is just him exploring. But this little guy right here, you wouldn't believe it, but he is only two weeks old. Look at all his feathers growing in, right here, and his back feathers. Now I keep saying him because we truly believe he's a male. We don't really know what he is, and we can't really tell until he's a little bit older. Um, but he really does carry himself so strongly and so confidently. And um, most chickens do, but I don't know. What do you think? Um, I want to name him Roscoe because I like chicken and waffles. I just think that it just fits because he has he walks with such a confident attitude. Uh, he's very curious. How'd you guys get Roscoe? We actually have an egg incubator and we bought it originally for the tortoises. So we have a huge chicken coop and we have one rooster and about eight other female chickens. And um, they normally lay egg and we don't really know. <laughs> Most of the time we end up eating them. <laughs> That's so cute. But sometimes they are fertile. So I'll check them first. And if I see any kind of growth, I'll put it in the incubator. Sometimes they hatch, sometimes they don't. It has to do with like the humidity and stuff like that. Uh, but basically, he was one of those fertile eggs and I took my chances and I put him in the incubator and you know, I did the work, I rotated him, I made sure every day the humidity and the heat was good. And we left for three days and of course we had our co-workers uh, watch him. But earlier that morning, we had just gotten here I wasn't expecting it. It was a little bit earlier than his original hatch date. And I know sometimes that happens. It's between like 18, the 18th day or the 23rd day that they will hatch. Um, but he was the only one in, in this batch. I mean, there was only one fertile egg. So uh, I came in, I opened um, the incubator and I see this little egg with the shell broken. So me and Jaime were like, this is great. And uh, we weren't exactly sure of when he started hatching, but we did kind of help him out. We could see that he was stuck in the egg. So we helped him out a little bit and then we let him do the rest. And from there, we have now this beautiful little creature who is only two weeks old. Who is this guy? What's up with this little rock? The story behind him is very interesting. We actually have uh, four uh, giant Sokolta, 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 thank you. The four giant Sokolta tortoises that we had mated, uh, we tried to hatch them. It was on our story uh, before, but they weren't successful. The story behind these guys is same thing happened, but we didn't know that one of the tortoises laid more eggs. So we went in one morning, we were coming to work here, and um, Ariana was playing with King, and we looked down for a second, and looked at the floor and, w and was wondering, hey, that doesn't look like a rock. That's a baby tortoise. And so we went on this like Easter egg hunt of baby tortoises all over the uh, Olympic track. We were finding these baby tortoises everywhere. And we ended up finding eight and they all found homes. This is the last one. Ariana, you were just blow drying them right now. Uh, why do you do that? I do it for many reasons. One, because it keeps their beautiful coat like looking shiny and these guys we can't really wash them and you don't want to wash them every day anyways um, just because you want these like natural oils to really stick in the skin so I, I blow dry them just because it's the easiest way to keep them clean it brushes off all that extra dust that he'll go and get again anyways um, but it keeps them clean and um, they look good and it keeps their coat healthy what are you doing right now? This is fly spray. So especially during summer, flies come out like crazy and they bite them and they bother them. So this is just to make sure that they're 
not being bothered by the flies or being bitten because it can cause uncomfortability and it causes like lesions and stuff like that. So this is just to keep them off and it makes the coat shiny as well. What Calvin's doing right here is he's brushing that into the actual coat so he's fully covered. I like to, to brush it because it's actually really satisfying. All the way. There you go. All right, let's do this. He knows. Yo, this, these treats actually smell like fruit. You wanna smell Hey, this smells bomb. Right? Can I have one? Actually, it smells like lip balm. I'm gonna take his leash off. <laughs> Come on, Ami. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, good boy. I'm gonna reward him for that just because I wanna keep that engagement going. And then they do take a long time to eat, so I'm gonna give him some time to restart. Okay, you ready? Yeah, good boy. That was so good. Babe, you saw that? I did. Did you really, Calvin? Yeah, do it again. So this is our barn. Um, it keeps all of our food, medical equipment, um, but it, it is a it, it's a little dirty right now. Hey. It's actually um, alfalfa, and that's Timothy. I don't know if you if you can tell the difference. You're naming the hay. Yeah, that's important. Certain animals eat alfalfa, and certain animals eat Timothy. Which animals eat alfalfa? Tortoises. The tortoises and some of our other livestock, but it's really high in protein, so we try to limit how often or how much they do get Because they gain alfalfa. weight. Yeah, they'll gain weight really easily, and even though they get exercise, I mean, they're not intaking the same amount of calories that they're So, alfalfa is only for special occasions. Who we'll put that sign up there? Hi, man. Ariana organized this whole place with the labor. These are all of the bins that have been labeled uh, for easier organization. Like say for instance, we're away and someone else is here, they'll know exactly. By the way, Ariana organized all of this. Mixed seeds, emu pellets, flock razor for the ducks, feather fixer for the chickens, and it just makes it super easy and simple so when Ariana's not here, I'm not like handicapped. You hear him smacking his teeth? Marty. He wants to give you a hug. Look, let him hug you. But he's in my... Let him hug you. All right. So it's Tiny Dancer, Nikita, Marty, Cowgirls, Cow Mamas, India. That's her name. That's her real name. Amadeus and Lorenzo. Plus the emus. What, should I do it one more time? I was a little thrown off. We got Marty, India, Nikita, Tiny Dancer, Amadeus and Lorenzo. Now Nikita and Tiny Dancer are those two little goats. India is the cow and Lorenzo is who you guys know as the grumpy old man. 